So the first question for today is coming from uh, Steve Billy. The question reads, you can be able to see on the screen for those who are following me on the uh, right now on my YouTube. Uh, the question is, my question today is, if you have, if you have, for example, three kids and you wrote in the DS260 and you'll be back for them, is there any need of having their documents such as birth certificates? That is a very good question. This question I will answer into two main parts. I will answer that one in terms of the children requirement per se, and I will answer in the terms if you have won on the filling on the DSC 260, but at the same time on how you can be able to submit the required documentations. So let me start when you say you have three children. Remember, when we say children, we refer to your biological born, we refer to stepchildren. If you are married to a person with children already, those are children. Your children too, you'll be able to include them. But also, the children, if you have adopted them, by adoption must be legal adoption. So if you have all those uh, children, you'll be able to include them. Remember, you must include those children before you apply for the DV lottery. If you just lied and say you, was, you don't have a child and you bring them later, you'll be denied the visa. So that's number one. Let's go to number two. You have won. And then in the DSC 260, for those who do not know, the DSC 260 is the visa form, which is will be used immigrant visa form to be able to be given the visa. So if in the visa form you say, uh, I'll, you can say I come with these children right now, or I can they can come them later. So whether the children you are coming them now or later, you have to submit the documents. Yes, so your question is, will you be required to submit the documents? The answer is yes. And when you say come back to them to bring them later, remember, those children must come to America or must go to the interview before the end of that particular fiscal year of the DV lottery. For example, if you are the DV 2022 winner, the interviews for the DV 2022 are supposed to start on October 1st, 2021 to September 30th, 2022. So those people say they will come later or I'll go back to bring them later. It has to be within that fiscal year if you want for them to get a green card. So you'll be required to submit the, the, the birth certificates. If they're above the age of 16, 16 and above, they have to have the medical certificate. They need to have the passport. If you want them to get the visa, green card too, within that fiscal year. If you wait until after the end of the fiscal year, after the interviews, they will not be able to come under green card. You can be able to ask them to come as a visitor. So if you want to bring them maybe two years later as a visitor, there is no problem. You don't need to submit the DS, uh, you don't need to submit the required documentations. So the documentations are required. Unless otherwise, those documentation which are required will be, uh, you don't want to bring them at all. But if you want to bring them direct as a green card lottery winner, trust me, you must be able to do that. You must make sure that you answer, you bring them right away. And this is my advice. Green card lottery. Green card people do not know how powerful green card it is. It is a very powerful document. But because you are outside the America, oh, you can say, okay, I'll bring my kids later. Trust me, down the road to bring them later, the cost of bringing your children later will be very, very big. You might end up using attorney. You can pay even 5,000 fees for the attorney to help you to bring your children. Trust me, if you don't have enough money, find a way to bring all your children, bring your entire family. If you are married, come with your spouse, come with your children. Arrive in America, have the actual green card, and down the road, even after a month, two months, take them back to your country and continue with your life. But don't say, I'm not bringing my kids just because of money. The cost of money will be higher and possible they might, not, they might not get the green card actually. So bring the kids first, get the actual card, then take them back if you want them to continue to stay there and for you to continue to be able to be stable here. 
So I believe I've been able to answer that question of Steve Billy in, in Kenya very, very well. Uh, if I feel the, uh, the number of the, we are talking about the documentations required for that particular situation. As I said, please don't forget also to go to my other YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash EBM Swahili. You can be able to go there and check most of my other videos. I usually put them there. I see there are some people also in Uganda, in Kenya, in Qatar, in Armenia, in Ghana. Thank you so much for everyone who has been here as a very good uh, support of my YouTube channel. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my, you haven't been to the DV Lottery groups, there are DV Lottery groups you need to go and check and you can be able to do that way. You can be able to understand. You can be able to learn so much things where we are going to do that way. Uh, so, make sure that do whatever it takes to come with your children. And for those who are planning to apply for the DV Lottery, upcoming DV Lottery, please, 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 make sure that uh, you have the photos of your children. Don't apply, you say, do you have children, you put zero, just because you don't have the photo. You still have enough time to get the photos, and especially for those people who are in another country, or you are in another city, very far away from your spouse, very far away from your children. Make sure that you have those documentations, photos. But your spouse and you can also apply as many applicants. As long as you can apply for a passport, put information for your, your spouse. And then make sure that your spouse has a passport to apply as a many applicant. That means you increase the chances you become two people applying for the DV lottery. So I believe I've answered that question very, very well. And for you, you can be able to do that one. There is another question from David. Uh, do I had a chance in Europe uh, with the case number uh, 31,700? In Europe, I can say yes, you have a chance if you're in Europe. Europe, because Africa, uh, up to 50,000 case number, you are good. Europe, that one is still, you can be have a very big chance. But if you're in Asia, that will be a bad number. By, I don't mean like, uh, what I mean is, depending on the, what I mean is, let's say you are African, and who lives in Asia, doesn't mean you are Asian, no. Your case number is AF, you are Africa. If your case number is EU, that means European, with 31,700, you are likely continue to be having, that is basically a good number, to be able to have the interview, uh, to attend the interview. Yeah. So, Morgan, you say you are in Albania. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, people from any country around the world who have been able to discover my YouTube channel, please subscribe, subscribe if today is your first time. And every single day, we are back to this routine of being here, making sure that I'm answering most of your questions because I've been away, I've been sick. For those who know, uh, in the month of April, my, my wife and I, we tested it for COVID, then we are back, then in between, I have to do a lot of covering from my work. Then there are so many things, change of weather, changing of everything. So now we are full back into the EBM Scholars Live. We'll be live every single day uh, around this time. 